Hello everyone, welcome to Fanso. Uh, my name is Sri Vatsan. I'm the co-founder of Fanso. Today I'm going to give you a product, high-level product walkthrough. Uh, before we get into the product walkthrough, I would like to uh, you know, share a couple of information about the product. So here on our website, fanso.io, you can find all the relevant information about our product. The first thing is the features overview. This should give you a high-level uh, overview on the product's core functionalities, as in like the subscription, live streaming, e-commerce part of the product, and you know, a dedicated created dashboard, and all the social elements built into the product, and the third-party integrations that we have built in. The second one is the pricing, where you can find our pricing plans. And third one is the live demo. You can play around with these live demo credentials. Fourth is the FAQ. So the FAQ should give you a pretty good understanding about the product, what it can offer, what it cannot, and anything that goes with the technical. And if you are looking to start this product on an adult industry, then all the relevant questions related to the adult niche can be found on the FAQs. Some of our features are uh, you know, placed as add-ons. So you can, if you look into the add-ons page, you can find those add-ons. These are like premium add-ons. Uh, which are categorized as popular uh, add-ons that helps you to make some extra money and add-ons that are for models, marketing purposes, third-party payment providers, and uh, you know anything related to tech integrations, as in like you know two-step verification, or uh, encryption techniques, or compression techniques, cloud storage. All these information can be found on the add-ons. And if you're looking into the technical part of the product, then you head over to our documentations. Uh, here you can see our, uh, you know, product releases, roadmap, and other few information. So here you can see our releases, development roadmap, requirements, software, hardware requirements, tech stack, code snippets, code samples of our product. So all these things are very important for you to make a wise decision. So now let's get into the product walkthrough. First, I'm going to show you uh, the admin backend walkthrough, and then I'm going to slowly go into the user dashboard and the model dashboard. So let me log in as an admin. So I've logged in as an admin. Now this is an admin dashboard. Uh, so here on the left hand side, you can see a lot of options. I'm going to slowly explain you each of these options. And this is a quick snapshot of the dashboard analytics. It shows uh, what the platform has made in terms of active users, total posts, models, uh, their earnings, their payouts, refunds, everything can be seen at a single glance. And uh, if you don't want your website to be accessed from certain countries, you can uh, choose the countries and you know, enable the access to block them so that people who are from Afghanistan cannot visit your platform. So uh, you can use this feature to block access to the people from these countries. And then the email templates gives you an option to uh, configure uh, the subject lines and body message of the email notification that's been sent out to the user and the models. So for the system sends out email notifications for different use cases to the user, to the model, and to the platform owner. So you can find all these email use cases over here and where you can edit your subject line and the body message of the email. And the next is the post. These are like the terms and conditions, privacy policy for your platform. So uh, you can create a new page or you can create or you can edit an existing page from the terms and service, privacy policy and all these things. And the menu options, here you can see uh, at the bottom of the footer of the page, there are terms and services, privacy policy. You can rearrange these menus uh, using these options. And the coupons, the as a platform owner, you can generate coupons for your users so that they can use these coupons when they add balance to their wallet. So the users uh, you know, add token balance to their wallet or their wallet money. So while adding the wallet money, you can generate coupons for your users so that you attract, attract them and add more money to their wallet. Uh, so that's the option for the coupons. And you can create a new coupon using the option over here. And then the banners. So on the front end, you have the list of banners that you can see. So all these banners can be added over here and can be previewed. And then comes the users. Uh, here you can find the list of users who have signed up on your platform. Uh, you can create a new user or you can edit an existing user. 
so you can find the basic information of the user, their available wallet balance can be had at seen here. And then similarly, you can see the list of models who have signed up on your platform. You can filter them based on their email verification, their ID verification, and their account verification. And you can see their posts, videos, galleries, photos, and products. And if you go to the update, you can check their ID documents. You can set, check their pricing, which they have set for yearly subscription, monthly subscription, and their streaming. So since we have a live streaming, they can set up a price, default price for their live streamings. And then they, send, they, then they can set up the commission. As an admin, you can set up commission percentage for individual models. So based on the commission percentage that you set here, the revenue will be split between the model and the admin. And this is the banking information. So the model enters their banking information so that they can request for the payout. So basically when a transaction happens on the platform, the money goes into the admin account and the model sees her earnings in her dashboard then she can request for a withdrawal of her earnings. So for example, if a model has earned around $100, then she can request for a payout to the admin saying that, hey, I've earned $100, can you pay me out? So when she's requesting for a payout, uh, she must have entered the bank details so that the admin can make the payment to her bank account. Uh, if the model is requesting uh, the payout to be done on a PayPal account, then she would enter the PayPal business email ID over here. So all these information can be seen when you edit a model profile. Similarly, you can create a model profile or a creator profile from the admin backend by filling up all this information. And moving, moving on to the next. So these are feed posts. So all the news feed content which is created by the creators can be seen over here. So the news feed contents are, you know, there are different type of news feed content. These are text content, these are video content, these are photo content. And uh, then the newsfeed content can be you know, free for everyone or can be accessed only for the subscribers or can be a pay-per-view, which means you know, it has to be exclusively paid to be accessed. So all these newsfeed content and their types can be seen over here. Uh, as an admin, you can create a newsfeed content on behalf of a model. So when you create a newsfeed content, you select the model uh, that you want it to be posted. So I select a model. I select whether it's a video post or a photo post or a text post. So if it is going to be a video post, I select video. Uh, it's see here, it, it shows it only for the subscribers or is it going to be a pay-per-view or is it free for everyone to access it, right? So yeah. Then comes the videos. So here as an admin or as a platform owner, I can see the list of videos uploaded by different models. I can filter them based on the models who have uploaded the videos. I can see whether it's uh, set up for sale, as in like, you know, on top of subscription, someone has to pay for it to access the video or whether it is scheduled, whether the active video or inactive video, what date has been updated and all these things. You can update or you can delete it, or even you can upload a new video on behalf of a model. And you can even also use a bulk video option so that you can choose a model name. And if you have 20, 30 videos, you can upload it from the admin backend. The similar options for the galleries. Uh, as an admin, you can see the list of gallery or photo albums created by the models. You can create a new gallery, you can upload a new photo, or you can bulk upload photo albums. Similarly for the products, the products can be both digital product as well as physical product. You can see here the type of the product, whether it's a physical or a digital. You can see which model has uploaded, what is the name of the product, and all this information can be seen over here. You can update a product or you can delete a product or you can even create a product on behalf of a model. So you pick a model and then you enter the name, whether it's a physical product or digital product. If it's a digital product, you need to upload the digital delivery file and then set up the price. And then comes the reports. So these are reports, uh, you know, flagged off by the user on the model's content. So all the uh, reports can be seen over here. And then here comes the list of uh, transaction history, earning history, and the subscription history. Everything can be seen over here. So the order history first shows the list of orders that has been made on the platform. It's an order ID from which user or against which model, whether it's a product purchase, how much is the product purchase cost, whether it's a delivered product or processing or refunded or shipped, all these status updates can be seen over here. And if it is, if you want to, you know, get into more information about the product, you can just click on here. It shows order number, buyer, seller, unit price, total price of the product, whether it's shipped, whether it's, what is the shipping code, 
all this shipping code has to be updated by the model because she's the one who is shipping the product. So all the order history can be seen over here. Then comes the earnings history. Uh, so here on the earnings history, you can see the total earnings on the platform. Uh, this is the platform's commission and this is the model earnings. Then you can filter them based on what kind of earnings they are, whether it's a tip provided by the user, whether it's a post earnings, whether it's a video, whether it's gallery earnings, earnings through videos, earnings through galleries, earnings through products, earnings through you know live streaming tips, earnings through live streaming tickets. Basically, when a model you know sets up a live streaming session, she you know sets a price for the live streaming session, right? So those are paid streaming, and these are uh, tips that is uh, paid by the user while the model is on live streaming. So all the earnings can be split and can be, uh, you know, uh, organized, you know, can, can be categorized and can be seen over here. And if you want to see the uh, breakdown of the earnings based on the models, you can choose the model and then you can see the earnings for the specific model. And you can filter by date, start date, end date, and all these things can be seen over here. Right, so these are the earnings history. Then comes the subscriptions. So these are especially profile subscriptions uh, made by the users on the model. All these data can be seen over here. So the ID, the users um, on which model he has made a subscription, whether it's a free subscription or as a monthly subscription, what is the start date, expiry date, and the renewal date. All the subscription details can be seen over here. As a platform owner, if you would like to provide a monthly subscription to a user, you can create a new subscription from here. So here you can choose the type of subscription and mention the username to whom you wanted to avail a subscription and then against a performer and then you can set an expiry date and you can submit, which means this user Adam would get free access to this performer till this expiry date. So you can create new subscriptions from the admin backend. And then here comes the payment history. Uh, so here it shows the list of uh, payments that has happened on the platform, like free subscription, monthly subscription, yearly subscription. This is a valid purchase, which means that the user Claire has added some money to his valid balance. So all these payment history can be seen over here. And then comes the valid transactions. The so valid transactions are transactions are, uh, you know, made by the user on the model. So using the valid balance, a user can uh, purchase one-off payments like you know, unlocking a newsfeed content, tipping a model, uh, buying a PPV video, uh, you know, unlocking photo albums, unlocking video galleries. Uh, and buying a physical product or a digital product. So there are six to seven items through which the user can use his valid balance to unlock these items. So all those valid transactions are listed over here. So you can see here, whether it's a post, video, product, gallery, model tip, streaming tip, and you know, live, streaming paid, uh, live streaming paid tickets. So all these things happens through valid and all these transactions are listed over here. Then here comes the payout request. As I said, the model uh, on her dashboard sees the earning history and based on her earnings, she can request to the admin to pay her out. So the, when she's going to request for a withdrawal request or a, you know, a payout request, she's going to submit whether she would like to get paid on her bank account or she would like to get paid on her PayPal account. So depending on that, admin receives a payout request and admin can view the payout request and then he can make the payment. So here you can see the model Anacheri has a total price of $1,143 and she has requested it and this date and she has requested to be paid on a PayPal account. So the admin can, you know, pending, rejected or whether it's paid and then you can update the model, you can make a note to the model and then you can update the status of the model, right? And these are the payout requests. And then here comes the general settings of the platform here. You can, uh, you know, enable, de disable the settings, uh, you know, text content can be updated, site name, logos, fave icon, footer content, maintenance mode. If you want to enable a maintenance mode during any developments or changes, you can enable this maintenance mode. And this verification model account uh, explains like, you know, if you have certain number of subscribers, automatically the model account gets verified. So let's say if I choose to have like 100 subscribers, if a model process or if a creator process 100 subscribers, 
her profile becomes verified automatically. So that's the benchmark setup here. And then here comes the email. Uh, these are email notifications sent out from the platform. It's like an admin email and the sender email. These are SMTP settings. These are SEO related settings for the platform. And this is where the admin sets up the commission that splits the revenue between the model and the admin. So if it is 0 0.1, which means 10% of commission. So when someone pays $100, it's been split between $90 to the model and $10 to the platform owner. And Agora is a live streaming third party provider. We use Agora for the live streaming. So here are the uh, options for you to configure the Agora keys and enter them in the backend. And payment gateways, we use two payment gateways. Uh, if you are using this Splash software for a non-adult business, then we, you, we have Stripe. And if you are using for an adult business, we have CC Build. So you can choose the payment gateway from the admin backend here and make sure that it, you can configure uh, based on the payment gateways that you set and then you can submit it so that the payment is updated. And then these are the social logins, the Google login and the Twitter login that you can see here. They, those can be configured on the back end over here. And this is the Google Analytics page where you can enter the code for the Google Analytics. So this uh, gives you an overall idea of the back end. And these are the functions of the back end. Now let's move into uh, you know, going into the user dashboard and I'll give you a high level walkthrough of how the user functionality work. And I also will give you a high level of how the model dashboard looks and model functionalities or the creator. Now, let me give you a high level walkthrough of the model dashboard. Uh, so I'm going to go to our website demo and uh, copy paste this credentials of the model username password. So I go to fanso.club. This is our demo of the product. Uh, I want to enter the model's username and the password. Okay. Okay, now I have logged in as a model. Uh, so this is my model as a creator. This is my profile preview of how uh, a subscriber is going to see my profile. And this is my newsfeed content. And here you can see I have uploaded video. And these are my exclusive video content. So these are my subscriber videos. And this is a pay per view video which the, the subscriber has to pay $40 on top of a subscription to access this video, right? And I can click on this video and you can see that video being played. And it adds a description and I can tag my fellow creators who are participants on this video and I can see my comments and I can reply to my user comments, right? And uh, now then I get to access the photo album. So this is how the photo albums are seen by the user. So uh, here are the photo albums. So here on the galleries, you can look into these are pay per view galleries. And uh, from here, the galleries can be accessed. So you can create a new gallery as a creator, or you can edit a new edit a gallery and add more photos to the gallery, right? And uh, the last part is the 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 products. Here you can see the products. So the products can be physical or digital products and it shows the price and the availability stock. So this is a high level overview of how the profile, the, the creator profile is going to look. Now let's get into the profile dashboard, creator dashboard and the settings. And before we go into that, so this option is for, for the user to follow a creator. So when the user follows a creator, he gets to access all the creator's content for free. And here the creator can tip, I mean, and the user can tip a creator and here he can initiate a message. He can save a creator profile as bookmark and he can share the creator profile. And uh, these are very small options where you can search uh, a, a post, a newsfeed post on the creator profile. And here you can filter the dates. Here you can filter the newsfeed content of the creator by dates and you can organize uh, the creator's content by uh, a, a grid view and here you can see on the list view. So yeah, so these are the details of the creator. And let's get into the creator dashboard. And here from the profile picture, you can click on it and you can see the information. So this is the creator earnings. The creator earnings is the sum of creator subscription earnings plus 
create us one-off earnings. The one-off earnings are through tips, uh, selling videos, selling photo albums, uh, selling products, getting tips, uh, getting live streaming tickets. All these things are one-off payments and the earnings that displays here is the sum of creator's subscription earnings, profile subscription earnings plus her one-off earnings like selling videos and other things. And this, this shows the subscribers data. So it shows that the creator has three paying subscribers. And this is an option where, so let me click on this. It takes her to her earnings where she can see her earnings, uh, you know, details uh, like by product, gallery post, video tip, and every other things. And this is her earnings dashboard. And here, when she clicks on it, she can see the subscribers who have subscribed to it, active, inactive, type of subscription, start date and end date. Here, when she, the creator wants to go live, they can click on it and she can start broadcasting it. Uh, give a title, description, whether it's free for subscribers or the subscriber needs to pay to access her live streaming. So if it is pay-per-view live streaming, then she sets the price for the live streaming. If she sets 15, which means it's $15 to access the live streaming, right? And he also has, uh, and the creator also gets to access the chat where the users can send chat messages when she streams live. And uh, this is a profile view and uh, next is the edit profile. So this is where the creator enters all the basic information, a cover pictures, profile pictures, uh, profile details, and uh, yeah, add an intro video. This is an intro video that shows as a pop-up when a user visits the creator profile and these are the id documents that she needs to upload uh, before getting verified and these are the price settings so this is the price setting the monthly yearly and default streaming price as in the live streaming uh, default price and if she sets a paid subscription then she sets a trial so this says that nine days free trial after that it automatically converts into a monthly subscription and she sets a price for the yearly subscription and she can set a price for the default uh, streaming, right? And these are the basic settings for a creator. And if she would like to blacklist someone, she can blacklist uh, a, some, a user so that he never gets to access her profile anymore. And if she likes to block access her to her profile from certain countries, she can mention the countries and then she can save changes, which means that users from Albania, will not be able to see the you know, creator's profile. Now coming back here, uh, the banking to earn is a, an option for the creator to enter a banking information so that she can get paid to a bank account. And if you'd like to get paid to a PayPal account, then she enters a PayPal account over here. And feeds, uh, these are options for the creator to create a newsfeed content. She can either click here to create a newsfeed content or she can go here to create a newsfeed content. She can create a new post, videos or a text post. And then videos, she can upload videos, bulk upload or you know upload videos one by one where she enters the title, tags, active, whether the video is for the sale or it's a pay-per-view video, whether the video is uh, going to be published right away or it's going to be scheduled to publish. Uh, video file, a teaser content, and a thumbnail content. And go, same goes for the products. Products can be either physical or digital products. If it is a physical product, then she uploads the active stock uh, price of the product. If it's a digital product, then she uploads the digital delivery file where the user gets to access the file after the user has made the payment. And uh, these are the galleries. Existing galleries can be seen over here. New galleries can be created over here. And then this shows the order history of all the orders uh, made by the user. This shows the earning history of the more creator. This shows a payout request. So when she's going to request a payout, she sees her total earnings, uh, how much money she has withdrawn earlier, and how much is the valid balance. Uh, right. Yeah. This is the total earnings. After withdrawal, this will show a uh, valid balance. So the valid balance includes a subscription earnings plus a one-off earnings that she has earned through uh, you know, different types of uh, selling the products, selling uh, unlocking content or selling content on newsfeed, selling PPV videos uh, and uh, you know getting her tips, everything is included here. And she can re request her amount, how much she wants to get withdrawn and she can select whether she would like to get paid on bank or PayPal and then submit a request. So these are the options for a creator. And here the creator can get to uh, you know, chat with the subscriber 
uh, basically a subscribe only the subscribers can you know send a message to the creator and the creator can reply to these messages and the creator can chat and you know send files between the user and the creator yes so these are the options for the creator and let's move to uh, the user dashboard now let's look into the user dashboard now i have uh, you know entered the user's email id and going to enter the password and log into the user account when I log into the user account, I can see the home page uh, filled up with uh, feed content from different creators. On the right hand side, I can see uh, you know creator suggestions. I can visit any creators and then I can subscribe to their monthly or yearly profile subscription. I can see their uh, news feed content, which is log videos, uh, photo albums, and then I can see their physical products. Okay. Now, uh, here is the model listing. It, this listing gives you the entire list of models who have uh, registered or signed up on this platform. And you can uh, use this keyword to search model names or you can filter uh, models by popular, latest, uh, uh, oldest, live, and you know, and a couple more filter options for you to filter the models. And uh, as a first step, you need to add a card. So here I've already added a card and you can remove it and you can add your credit card. And once you've added a credit card, uh, you are good to go and you know do the profile subscriptions, which is an auto recurring payment. And if you want to add valid balance, you can go here and you can uh, enter the amount and top up your valid balance. So enter 100 and you buy now your $100 will be added to your existing $46 balance and the edit profile. These are basic information for the user edit profile and here it shows uh, subscriptions. So these are the subscriptions that have done. Some subscriptions are suspended. Uh, I can reactivate them. Subscriptions, subscriptions are active. So these are subscriptions active on these models. You can find all these subscriptions over here and uh, bookmarks so you can find content which have bookmarked as in newsfeed content videos photo albums store products and uh, favorite models which have favorite right and uh, if you visit any of these model profiles you can follow them for free uh, so let's say i visit uh, this model profile and then i can already i'm already following it so it shows like this if I want, let, let me go and show you a new profile. Okay, let me go here. And you can see here, I've not followed this more creator. I just click here and I'm starting to following already. Right now, if I would like a tip, then I can send him a tip. Yeah, so I've made a tip of $10 to this creator. So under order history, I can see all these orders which have made the physical products and digital products which I've ordered. The payment history shows, uh, you know, the payments that have made, whether it's a top of valid balance or the subscriptions that I've done, all these payment history shows here and valid transactions shows here. So recently I tipped $10 to Adam, it shows as a transaction from the, my valid balance. So it shows all the transactions from the user wallet. And so yeah, these are the major options uh, of uh, the user profile. And if a model starts to stream, then here on above the home area, there is a block that shows the list of uh, creators who are streaming live so that you can click on them and you can watch the streaming. And uh, going to the messages, yeah, you can start chatting with uh, you know the creators if you have already subscribed to them. If you have not subscribed, then it shows that you, know, you have to subscribe to start chatting with the creator. So yeah, so these are the options for the user on his dashboard.